Good evening. My goodness, we are happy to be back. Uh, we want to welcome you to the 2021 Jackson Apple Festival Queens Contest. My name is Tara Bird. I'll be with you this evening. And before we even get started, we would like to uh, recognize a few individuals that we absolutely could not do this without, and that is our judges who have been working day to day already. So we would like to introduce to you Christy Simmons. She's coming to us from Chillicothe from the Feast of the Flowering Moon. McKenna Moon from Nelsonville with the Parade of the Hills. And Chris Cram from Vinton County with the Wild Turkey Festival. Thank you so much. We appreciate your help. So to get us started, I'm going to introduce our reigning um, girls who are with us with the Apple Festival. And we are going to start with our current second attendant, who is Jaden Webb. Jaden is the 18-year-old daughter of Jack and Lori Webb. She's a senior at Oak Hill High School, where her major School activities include varsity soccer, varsity cheerleading. She's the co-captain, the competition cheerleading co-captain, the historian of the National Honor Society, Future Medical Careers Club, STEM Club, Web Design Team, Student Run Atomic Credit Union, and Leo's Club. Her hobbies and interests include spending time with family and friends, going to church, playing with her dog, watching movies, helping others, and making people laugh. She plans to attend the Ohio State University and major in psychology. This is our current second attendant, Jaden Webb. Our current first attendant is Miss Brenna Boggs. Brenna is the 18-year-old daughter of Eric and Shanna Boggs. She's a senior at Oak Hill High School. Her major school activities include varsity cheerleading, varsity volleyball, and the National Honor Society. Her hobbies and interests include painting, working as a nail technician at city limits, collecting plants, sewing, and spending time with family and friends. She plans to attend the University of Rio Grande and major in business management. This is our fir current first attendant, Merce Brenna Boggs. And our 2019-2020 Apple Festival Queen and co mc for this evening, Miss Madison Strausser. Madison is the 18-year-old daughter of Jess Strausser and Jody Young. She's a senior at Jackson High School, where her major school activities where her major school activities include president of Interact and Student Council senior class treasurer, regional scholars, Leo's Club, future, future Medical Careers Club, class valedictorian, student health council, varsity cheerleading, and web design. Her hobbies and interests include attending church, having movie nights with family, playing with her puppy, lifeguarding, and making memories with friends. She plans to attend the University of Cincinnati and major in nursing. This is our current queen, Madison Strausser. And we have a lot of anxious girls backstage to get going, so we're gonna head right into meeting them. So we're gonna start with contestant number one. That's Miss McKinley Nicole Morris. <laughs> McKinley is the 16-year-old daughter of Dr. Brian and Jamie Morris. She's a sophomore at Jackson High School. She has hazel eyes and red hair. Her major school activities include being a member of the JHS sideline cheerleading team, the JHS competitive cheerleading team, track, sophomore treasurer of student council, media production team, Leo's club, youth leadership association, CIS club, youth and government, interact club, student health council, and gay straight alliance. Her hobbies and interests include camping, traveling, experimenting with makeup, being with friends, gymnastics, playing with her dogs, watching television and movies, and sewing. This is contestant number one, Miss McKinley Nicole Morris. 
Next we have contestant number two, Katie Josephine Brown. Katie is the 16-year-old daughter of Phil and Dina Howard and Steve Brown. She is a sophomore at Jackson High School and has blue eyes and blonde hair. Katie's major school activities include sophomore class treasurer, Leo's club, interact club, student council, student health council, business professionals of America, youth leadership association, youth in government, my brother's buddy, SIS, Gay Stray Alliance, media team, varsity volleyball, and college credit plus. Her hobbies and interests include working out, East Side Volleyball Club, working at WITS, and spending time with family and friends. This is contestant number two, Katie Josephine Brown. Contestant number three, McKenna Nicole Foden. McKenna is the 17-year-old daughter of Jean and Julie Foden. She's a junior at Jackson High School. She has blue eyes and light brown hair. Her major school activities include varsity cheerleading, JHS competition, cheer club, cheer team, varsity golf, marching band, all-star competition, cheer squad, 4-H, and Youth Leadership Association. Her hobbies and interests include painting, fishing, camping, reading, and volunteering at Pate Creek State Park. This is contestant number three, Ms. McKenna Nicole Foden. Contestant number four, Kendall Alexis Osborne. Kendall is the 16-year-old daughter of Sean and Beth Osborne. She is a sophomore at Jackson High School and has blonde hair and brown eyes. Kendall's major school activities include Student Council, Gay Straight Alliance, Student Health Council, Interact Club, Youth Leadership Association, Youth in Government, Leo's Club, Varsity Track Team, Varsity Cheerleading, the Jackson High School Competitive Cheer Team, SIS, Sophomore Secretary for the Class Officers, and My Brother's Buddy. Her hobbies and interests include the All-Star Cheer Team, taking adventures with family and friends, playing with her puppy, and writing. This is contestant number four, Kendall Alexis Osborne. Contestant number five, Peyton Rose Taylor. Peyton is the 17-year-old daughter of Tara and Stephen Richards and Zach and Nikki Taylor. She's a junior at Jackson High School. She has brown hair and brown eyes. Her major school activities include College Credit Plus, Thog Corps, National Honor Society, Student Council, and Volleyball. Her hobbies and interests include axe throwing, drawing, painting, reading, roller derby, and Elevate Ministries. This is contestant number five, Peyton Rose Taylor. Contestant number six, Olivia Nicole Moore. Olivia is a 16-year-old daughter of Dave and Lori Moore. She is a sophomore at Jackson High School and has blonde hair and brown eyes. Olivia's major school activities include volleyball, cheerleading, track, the sophomore representative of Student Council, Student Health Council, Leo's Club, Youth Leadership Association, Youth in Government, and My Brother's Buddy. Her hobbies and interests include club volleyball, 4-H, kayaking, traveling, 
and making memories with friends and family. This is contestant number six, Olivia Nicole Moore. Contestant number seven, Gabby Reese Webb. Gabby is the 17-year-old daughter of Mike and Shelly Webb. She's a junior at Jackson High School. She has blonde hair and green eyes. Her major school activities include varsity softball, varsity cheerleading, Leo's Club, College Credit Plus, and, as a, and she is a spokesmodel for Aaron Johnson Photography. Her hobbies and interests include spending time with family, taking her dog for walks, going to church, playing with her niece and nephew. This is contestant number seven, Gabby Reese Webb. Contestant number eight, Patricia Swisher. Patricia is the 16-year-old daughter of Desiree Swisher and Steven Swisher. She is a sophomore at Jackson High School and has auburn hair and brown eyes. Patricia's major school activities include volleyball, the Gay Straight Alliance, Youth Leadership Association, Leo's Club, Spanish Club, Art Club, College Credit Plus, and SIS. Her hobbies and interests include volleyball, art, reading, writing, poetry, violin, science, women's rights, and currently works for SOAR and McDonald's. This is contestant number eight, Patricia Swisher. Contestant number nine, Riley Elizabeth Crabtree. Riley is the 16-year-old daughter of Jason and Kelly Crabtree. She's a junior at Jackson High School she has brown hair and blue eyes. Her major school activities include National Honor Society, Youth Leadership Association, Youth in Government, Student Council, Band, Spanish Club, Ohio Team Ambassador Board, Girl Scouts, and High Q. Her hobbies and interests include reading, writing, baking, scrapbooking, volunteering at community food giveaways, working the Thanksgiving community dinner, and watching basketball with her dad. This is contestant number nine, Riley Elizabeth Crabtree. Contestant number 10, Jenna Catherine Marie Lewis. Jenna is the 16-year-old daughter of Anna Marie and Will Lewis. She is a sophomore at Jackson High School and has brown hair and hazel eyes. Jenna's major school activities include track, soccer, and marching band. Her hobbies and interests include art, camp counseling, 4-H, community service, traveling, and playing with her dogs. This is contestant number 10, Jenna Catherine Marie Lewis. Contestant number 11, Kirsten Renee Clark. Kirsten is the 18-year-old daughter of Keith and Michelle Clark. She's a senior at Oak Hill High School. She has blonde hair and blue eyes. Her major school activities include marching band, symphonic band, honors band, National Honor Society, and FFA. 
Her hobbies and interests include horses, crafts, community service, spending time with family, traveling, playing tenor saxophone, shopping, going to the gym, and she is currently enlisted in the DEP of the Marine Corps. Contestant number 11, Kirsten Renee Clark. Contestant number 12, Hannah Marie Yeagle. Hannah is the 15-year-old daughter of Christina and Anthony Yeagle. She is a sophomore at Oak Hill and has brown hair and green eyes. Hannah's major school activities include FFA and baton. Her hobbies and interests include twirling with Eclipse Baton Group, FFA at Oak Hill High School, shopping, and volunteer work. This is contestant number 12, Hannah Marie Yeagle. All right, so now we're gonna have an opportunity to talk with each individual girl. This is always one of the best parts of the evening. We get to know them a little better. So we are gonna start with contestant number one, McKinley Nicole Morris. McKinley, you are a part of the media production team at Jackson High School. Tell us about that. The media productions team is a group of the high school that travels around the community doing several community projects. We are actually here tonight giving people the opportunity to watch their contestants even though they cannot be here due to COVID restrictions. We live broadcast things like this and we also do games like basketball, football, volleyball, and so many more. This is my first year in media and I cannot wait for my next years. And what are your responsibilities with the Interact Club at Jackson High School? My responsibilities with the Interact Club are to read the books that they give us once a month and to just show up and be a really good member and always bring a good responsibility and This is contestant number one, Miss McKinley Nicole Morris. Contestant number two, Katie Josephine Brown. Katie, share with us your involvement with the Eastside Volleyball Club. I have been playing volleyball at the Eastside Volleyball Club for about four years now. We have already been ranked first in the Ohio Valley region and are hoping to get a bid to nationals in Las Vegas this year. My team's mindset this year has been to show up for one another often on the court. I think that if our community had this mindset, we could better Jackson County as a whole. And your um, involvement with the Business Professionals of America at Jackson, tell us about that. Business Professionals of America is an organization I am in through the media team. We have actually not, had to have it, not been able to have anything this year due to COVID, but last year we went to Rio Grande where we went into a panel of judges and we got to, or we got to present a new show 
that we had made, me and my team, of the Mayhew Brown Funeral Home for their annual Christmas celebration. It was a good opportunity for public speaking and it's something I'll never forget. Contestant number two, Katie Josephine Brown. Contestant number three, McKenna Nicole Folden. <laughs> McKenna, tell us about your responsibilities when you volunteer at uh, Paint Creek State Park. When volunteering at Paint Creek, I wake up and pick up trash from the campsites, and we put on breakfast at the shelter house every morning. Um, I take kids to the nature center, and one of my favorite activities that we do is during the Halloween um, weekend, we set up a haunted trail, and I also help judge the costume contest. And we heard that you were involved in 4-H. What is your involvement with 4-H? I've been doing 4-H for about seven years now. I'm in the Barn Bunch Club, and I take market rabbits to the fair. It's one of my favorite things to do. I've grown to love the animals, and it's just so much fun, and you make a lot of friends. Contestant number three, McKenna Nicole Foden. Contestant number four, Kendall Alexis Osborne. Kendall, tell us about your all-star cheer team. I have been a member of the all-star cheer team for about six years now. I have made so many new friendships and made so many new friends just doing what I love. I got a bid to Florida this year to go to Orlando, Florida, to, and at Disneyland to compete with teams all around the United States. It has been an awesome experience, and I love doing the things I love with my best friends. And share with us your involvement with Leo's Club at Jackson. In the Leo's Club, we usually like serve people lunch, dinner. We do a bunch of charity work, such as food can drives and blood drives. This is contestant number four, Kendall Alexis Osborne. Contestant number five, Peyton Rose Taylor. Peyton, you have a really interesting hobby. Tell us about your axe throwing. I pretty recently got into axe throwing. My family's orchard got turned into an obstacle course venue called War X. I asked for throwing axe and knives for Christmas, and I ended up getting both. I have a target in my backyard that I normally practice on the weekends with, and my family normally practices with me. And uh, College Credit Plus was a part of your activities. What's, what's your involvement with that? College Credit Plus, in short, is called CCP. It allows me to take college classes during high school 
and it saves me thousands of dollars. The school pays for the classes. Uh, this year I've gotten my generals out of the way, and next year I hope to start taking classes for my degree, which will be accounting. Contestant number five, Peyton Rose Taylor. Contestant number six, Olivia Nicole Moore. <laughs> Olivia, share with us your involvement with My Brother's Buddy at Jackson High School. The My Brother Buddy Club is a club at Jackson High School that allows students like myself to get involved with other kids with intellectual and developmental disabilities. We get to take these kids to places such as the Apple Festival and the Special Olympics. Taking my buddy to the Apple Festival is such an amazing experience. It is so exciting to see the excitement of the Apple Festival through my buddy's eyes. I hope to take my buddy to the Apple Festival again this year. Thank you. And what is your involvement with track at Jackson? What, how are you involved with that? My involvement in track is high jump. I love track because it only it doesn't allow me to stay in, it allows me to stay in shape, but it also allows me to work on my communication skills and my teamwork. Although my event is high jump and it is an individual event, with this event, it allows me to gain points for my team if I win. I love the feeling of high jump because I get to feel the freeness of flying through the air. Although sometimes I do hit the bar and it does hurt, and it's a little embarrassing, but I get over it in a few minutes. Thank you. Contestant number six, Olivia Nicole Moore. Contestant number seven, Gabby Reese Webb. <laughs> Gabby, tell us a little bit about varsity softball at Jackson. I've been a member of the varsity softball program for three years now. Making varsity as a freshman was a really big goal of mine that I set at a very early age, and I made sure I accomplished that. It's also a great leadership experience because being the shortstop, I get to lead my team on and off the field. And what are your responsibilities as a spokesmodel for Erin Johnson Photography? As a spokesmodel for Erin Johnson Photography, I get to be the face of her local business. This means that I have to help spread the word and hope that other people will choose her to be their senior photographer or family photographer. Contestant number seven, Gabby Reese Webb. Contestant number eight, Patricia Swisher. <laughs> Patricia, tell us about the importance of College Credit Plus for you. College Credit Plus is extremely important to me because it allows me to shave thousands of dollars off of my debt that most likely I'm going to get anyways because college isn't exactly cheap. Um, but it is saving me thousands of dollars doing this. 
and it is also allowing me to achieve my dream of becoming an environmental lawyer um, and entering environmental science as my major at the University of Tampa much sooner than I was originally planning. And you're involved in the Youth Leadership Association at Jackson. Speak to us about that. The Youth Leadership, Leadership Association allows youths to really show our leadership skills and to show our other students that go to our school that this is what you can be. This is how you can achieve, well, to quote it, greatness. And it really allows me as a person to show my sister what she could be when she wants to go to high school and that this is somebody she can look up to. Contestant number eight, Patricia Swisher. Contestant number nine, Riley Elizabeth Crabtree. <laughs> Riley, tell us about being an Ohio teen on the Ohio Teen Ambassador Board. The Ohio Teen Ambassador Board is a program I was selected for last year. The Ohio Attorney General Dave Yost selected me based on my exemplary community leadership. I think it's a really great program because we get to learn lots of leadership skills and get to interact with other people my age that are interested in politics. I get to see the politics behind Yost's office and also it's inspired me to go into politics as my future career. And you've been involved in Girl Scouts. Tell us about that in your life. I've been involved in Girl Scouts for over 10 years now and I have been doing a lot of different things. I earn a lot of different badges and it's just taught me so many different leadership skills and different ways to do everything. I've learned how to cook, how to sew. There's all kinds of things to learn. And I think it's a really important thing for girls to do because there's just, it's so much more than just doing girly tasks. There's so many things that you can learn. Contestant number nine, Riley Elizabeth Crabtree. Contestant number 10, Jenna Catherine Marie Lewis. Jenna, share with us your responsibilities as a camp counselor. As a camp counselor, it is not only my responsibility to make sure the kids have a good time, but it's also my responsibility to make sure that they are completely safe in doing so. I, as a counselor, I've, I've been camping at camp for about five years, and I've always had a great time. And whenever I have my campers, I always like to make sure that they have a good time like I did. And by doing that, I make sure that they are all safe, all together. And if I particularly see one girl being shy, I like to help break her out of her shell maybe and help her make new friends, which is what the camp experience is all about. Tell us about your participation in the Jackson High School Marching Band. In the Jackson Marching High School Band, I play the alto saxophone. I have been marching for two years and it is something new I've been involved in. I was, I'm kind of new to the public school system and this is, something, this is the group that truly accepted me whenever I first started going there. It was the place where I first made all my new friends and they made me feel completely comfortable and happy. And it's something that I've been having an amazing time doing, going to all the different games and meeting all the new people. 
Contestant number 10, Jenna Catherine Marie Lewis. Contestant number 11, Kirsten Renee Clark. <laughs> Kirsten, share with us the details about your enlistment with the DEP of the Marine Corps. DEP is the delayed entry program where young men and women come together in chill coffee to not only prepare themselves mentally, but also physically for their future endeavors in the Marine Corps. And you're involved in FFA. Share with us that, your, your involvement. My involvement in FFA is I was the secretary of our FFA chapter, and I also get to enjoy my hobby of horses, by competing in our chapter invitationals. Contestant number 11, Kirsten Renee Clark. Contestant number 12, Hannah Marie Yagel. <laughs> Hannah, we learned that one of your hobbies was shopping. What do you enjoy most about shopping? What I enjoy most about shopping is spending time with my family. First off, I'd like to say, um, I'd like, we like to get up early in the mornings on Saturdays to go get breakfast. Then we usually go to the mall to hang out and just do whatever. And you're in, involved in Baton at Oak Hill. Tell us about that involvement. Um, I'm, I've been involved in Baton for almost six months now. We've done parades. We haven't really got to do um, contests and stuff since COVID happened. But luckily, we get to do some of that stuff this year. Contestant number 12, Hannah Marie Yeagle. Judges, this is your first look at all of the 2021 Apple Festival contestants. The Apple Festival would like to thank the following sponsors. Aaron Johnson Photography, Andreas Prom and Bridal, A.L. Terry Jewelers, Carmen's Used Cars, Days Inn of Jackson, Dairy Queen of Jackson, Elizabeth's Flowers and Gifts. 
Joan Stevenson Insurance, Lewis Insurance Agency of Oak Hill, McDonald's, Ohio Valley Bank, Sheward Falks Insurance, Southern Ohio Smiles. A special thanks to Jackson City Schools, The Telegram, The Jackson Vinton Courier, Miss Courtney Wiggins, and the radio and cable channel 15. And now it is time for the final question. And first, we will have contestant number 12, Hannah Marie Yeagle. Hi, Hannah. To this date, there has not been a face of a woman on a folding U.S. currency in the United States of America. Who do you think that the first woman should be on the folding currency and why? I think the first woman on the folding currency should be me because I'm pretty awesome if I do say so myself. <laughs> Thank you. Next, we have contestant number 11, Kirsten Renee Clark. Hi, Kirsten. To this date, there has not been a face of a woman on a folding currency in the United States of America. Who do you think that the first woman should be on the folding currency and why? I think the first woman that should be on the folding currency is Michelle Obama. Not only was she a great role model to women because she was the first lady, but she also stood for many things. She stood up for women's rights and she was a great person overall. Thank you. Contestant number 10, Jenna Catherine Marie Lewis. Hi, Jenna. To this date, there has not been a face of a woman on a folding U.S. currency in the United States of America. Who do you think that the first woman should be on the folding currency and why? I think that the first woman to be on the United States dollar should be Rosa Parks. Not only was she strong and independent in her moment to sit on the bus seat, but she is a very strong advocate for the Black Lives Movement, I feel. 
And that is something very important going on in our lives today. And I feel like if she happened to be on the dollar, then that would be a very strong symbol that not only are women powerful, but black women are too. And it shows very much adversity. Thank, Thank you. you. Contestant number nine, Riley Elizabeth Crabtree. Hi, Riley. To this date, there has not been a face of a woman on a folding U.S. currency in the United States of America. Who do you think that the first woman should be on the folding currency and why? I feel like the first woman should be Eleanor Roosevelt because I feel like she's one of the most inspirational women that we've had in U.S. history. She did so much more than any other first woman has done, in my opinion. And I think that she really needs to be honored by that. Thank you. Contestant number eight, Patricia Swisher. Hi, Patricia. To this date, there has not been a face of a woman on the folding U.S. currency in the United States of America. Who do you think that the first woman should be on the folding currency and why? I fully believe that the person that should be on the cover of any dollar bill 520 should be a woman of color. I feel like they definitely get the brunt of everything. Not only do people of color get so much criticism and backlash just for being themselves, just for being born the way they were, and women just for being women. Being a colored woman in this day in society is just so hard, and I truly believe that any woman, Harriet Tubman, for example, I did hear that there was talk for a moment that she was going to be on, I think, the 20. And I fully believe she would definitely be an amazing candidate for that. Thank you. Contestant number seven, Gabby Reese Webb. Hi, Gabby. To this date, there has not been a face of a woman on a folding U.S. currency in the United States of America. Who do you think that the first woman should be on the folding currency and why? Who would I want to be on the currency would be Michelle Obama because she made a big difference in our world and she was the first black lady 
and she made a big difference in, in today's society. Thank you. Contestant number six, Olivia Nicole Moore. Hi, Olivia. To this date, there has not been a face of a woman on a folding U.S. currency in the United States of America. Who do you think that the first woman should be on the folding currency and why? I think the first woman to be on the folding currency would be Um, I'm not too sure. I would love for someone to be Ohio, from Ohio, because I feel like Ohio is where my heart is, and I feel like it'd be amazing to see someone from Ohio on the, dollar, on the folding bill. Thank you. Thank you. Contestant number five, Peyton Rose Taylor. Contestant number five, Peyton Rose Taylor. Hi, Peyton. To this date, there has not been a face of a woman on a folding U.S. currency in the United States of America. Who do you think that the first woman should be on the folding currency and why? I think that the first woman on the U.S. currency should be our first female vice president. It is a big uh, history-making moment, and that can be something that we take into the future so that it is remembered forever. Thank you. Contestant number four, Kendall Alexis Osborne. Hi, Kendall. To this date, there has not been a face of a woman on a folding U.S. currency in the United States of America. Who do you think that the first woman should be on the folding currency and why? I feel like the first woman that should be on the folding currency should be Taylor Swift. She has inspired me very much. She's a very strong and independent woman. Her songs are amazing and give off a good message, and I just love the person she has become. Thank you.
Contestant number three, McKenna Nicole Folden. Hi, McKenna. To this date, there has not been a face of a woman on a folding U.S. currency in the United States of America. Who do you think that the first woman should be on the folding currency and why? If I could pick a woman to be on the currency, it would be Harriet Tubman because I think that she was very heroic and she is just a face that will go down in history. Thank you. Thank you. Contestant number two, Katie Josephine Brown. Hi, Katie. To this date, there has not been a face of a woman on a U.S. folding currency. Who do you think that the first woman should be on the folding currency and why? I think the first woman that should be on the folding currency should be the vice president. We have not had a woman vice president yet, and I think that would be a good face to represent the U.S. Thank you. Thank you. Contestant number one, McKinley Nicole Morris. Hi, McKinley. To this date, there has not been a face of a woman on a folding U.S. currency in the United States of America. Who do you think that the first woman should be on the folding currency and why? I think that the first person the first woman to be on a United States currency is Harriet Tubman. I think this because she did amazing things during the Civil War, and she was just an amazing person to look up to, to young women everywhere in this country. She was an amazing woman, and she would be an amazing person to be the first woman on our U.S. currency. Thank you. Thank you. Judges and audience, this is your last look at the contestants. Hello everybody, uh, welcome to the 2021 Big Queens competition. On behalf of Jaffe and the Apple Festival, we thank everybody for showing up tonight and, and always supporting the Apple Festival. 
not having the Apple Festival last year was a very sad day for all of us. Uh, and we know the community missed it too. And we're back and we're excited to be back. Uh, I hope everybody enjoys this evening. We would like to wish all of the competitors the best of luck. We're excited to welcome in three new family members to the festival. Uh, like anybody, anybody's ever been part of our festival, uh, it's being part of our family. And we're excited that we're bringing three new people into our family. Um, this question has no bearing on the competition tonight. This question is solely for fun. Please enjoy the show, be safe. Can't wait to see you at the festival. Well guys, if you know one thing about me, if you, I have switched careers. I'm selling real estate with Kelly Wiley Group and it's been great. But I have a house that we need to auction off. And you know what? I couldn't get a hold of Pat or anybody to come and do the auction for me. So I am going to have the girls try out to be the auctioneer for my house. Let's see what kind of talent they have. Hi, I'm McKinley Morris. I'm 16 years old and I go to Jackson High School. McKinley, I need to sell Ryan's house. Um, $1,000, no, no. Right here? Well, okay, hold on. We're going 2000 Whoa, whoa, two, 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 okay. right here, right here. Hold on, we're going way up all the way to 50000 50000 Anybody? Anybody want 50000 50000 50, I'm in 50. All right, okay. Okay, we're going all the way up to a hundred. Hundred thousand dollars for Ryan's house. He's getting a lot of steps. Is that why I roll? <laughs> <laughs> I am contestant number two, Katie Brown, and I'm a sophomore at Jackson High School. Katie, I need you to sell Ryan's house. Auction it off. Okay. Can I get a dollar? One dollar. One dollar. All right, one dollar. got two dollars. Two. Two. All right. All right, we're gonna raise it up. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Let's go. 50, 50, 50, 50. I need to borrow some money. 50. 50. You 50. got it. 50. Okay. 100. Let's 100. Go. 100 dollars. 100 dollars. Is it worth it? Better right now. Let's go. 100 dollars. 100. All right. 100. All right. All right. 150. Oh, my no, God. 150. 150. 150. Someone needs, I need to call my mom. All right. He's got it. 150 dollars. Hi, I'm McKenna Fulton. I go to Jackson High School and I'm a junior. Sell Ryan's house. Can I get a thousand dollars? Thousand? Right here. Can I get two thousand? Oh my gosh. Over here. I got it over here. Two, two. Okay, let's jump up to like twenty thousand. Can I get twenty thousand for Ryan's house? Twenty. There's always a guy. Come on, five. guys. It's a key. I got it right here. Twenty thousand. Can I get thirty? Thirty over there. Way over there. Come on, let's renovate this kitchen. <laughs> twenty thousand out here. Where's fifty thousand? <laughs> I'm Kendall Osborne, a sophomore at Jackson High School. All right, sell Ryan's house. 50, 50 cents. You got it over here. 50, 50. 50, oh, right here. 50. Oh, 50 75, cents. 75, 75, 75, 75. 75, 75, 75. 75. One dollar, one dollar. Two dollars over here. Two dollars, two dollars. So, two dollars. <laughs> Hi, I'm contestant number five. My name is Peyton Taylor, and I would say that I'm already an apple queen because I live on an apple orchard. All right, sell Ryan's house. We will start the bidding at twenty-five thousand dollars. Twenty-five, right here, twenty-five thousand. Fifty thousand. Oh, fifty. Good God, fit right here, right here. Oh, we're getting good numbers. We'll jump it up to the twenty-five hundred. That's saying no. That's lower, isn't it? That's okay. I'll take it. Twenty five hundred. I got it. We'll go. We'll go lower. A thousand. A thousand. Even better. I think we're sold on that number. Hi, my name is Olivia Moore, and I go to Jackson High School, and I'm a sophomore. So now we're going to auction off a house. Sell Ryan's house. All right, we're going to sell Ryan's house. All right, starting with one dollar. Right, right here. Right here. All one right, dollar. Two, two. Two. Got two in the back. All right. Uh, three. Three. Five. Seven. Seven. Seven dollars. Anyone seven dollars? Eight dollars? Anyone eight dollars? Eight. Eight. All right, how about 20? Anyone oh, want 20 dollars? We, we just want to eat Christmas. Sorry. It's worth it, though. It's worth, it's worth it. You see that house? It's worth it. All right, we're with our 
our favorite people here, our current queen in court, first time ever, FaceTime <laughs> to the video. I'm gonna let these girls introduce themselves and we appreciate what they've done for us, especially during this trying time. And we're glad to have them here with us during this. We couldn't have done it without them. So I'm gonna let them introduce themselves and go from there. I'm Jaden Webb and I am the 2019-2020 Jackson Apple Festival second attendant. I'm Brenna Boggs. I'm the 2019-2020 Jackson Apple Festival first attendant. And I'm Maddie Strasser. <laughs> 2019 and 2020 Jackson Apple Festival Queen. All right, all right, girls. We need to sell Ryan's house. Yep. Yes. Are you guys ready? We're ready. Now I'm yes. hearing we're not using money. What's the deal? No baby items. They just they just brought a new baby home, and they're gonna need diapers and wipes, wipes and midnight shifts and bottles. Yep. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well. Well, let's get this auction going. All right, let's start the bid with one pack of diapers. I got, I got a pack of diapers. Pack right, of diapers no, and baby, baby wipes. And baby wipes. Oh, no, no, and baby wipes. Pack of, two packs of diapers, two packs of baby wipes, and a midnight shift. Midnight shift? What time is that? What time is that? What are we talking? What are we talking? 12 to 3. 12 to 3. 12 to 3? Okay, two, two midnight shifts and three packs of diapers. Okay, two midnight shifts, three packs. Five packs of diapers, a whole night shift, Two packs of wipes. Five? Five? God, where do you get this stuff at? Come on. I'm in. I'm in. He's I'm in. in. <laughs> okay, now we got three bottles, four midnight shifts, and six pack snipers. My God, I'm like, I don't know where to get this stuff at. Walmart. Walmart? <laughs> Let's go. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Uh, wait a minute. Don't you have to have the other stuff? What's the other stuff called? Uh, formula. Formula. We yes, yes. Yeah, I'm throwing formula in there. I'm throwing formula in there. You've got formula. You've got formula. Going once. Going twice. Going twice. So. I'm Gabby Webb, a junior at Jackson High School, and I'm contestant number seven. Sell Ryan's house. Who's got two thousand dollars? Right here, two thousand. Three thousand. Right here. Five thousand. Ooh. <laughs> Five. Okay. Six thousand? Five fifty. Five fifty. <laughs> Five fifty. Do I keep going? Hi, my name is Patricia Swisher. I go to the Jackson High School and I am a sophomore at said school. Fun fact about myself is I was actually born in Anchorage, Alaska, and I moved around a few different places before coming to Jackson, Ohio. All right. Time to sell Ryan's house. All right. Uh, bidding first, we got $20. I got 20. I got 20. 20. All right. Uh, popping it up, maybe like 1000 1000 Just a thousand. Thousand. Hey, I got a thousand. 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 Four cents. Sold for four cents. Hi, my name is Kirsten Clark. I'm a senior at Oak Hill High School and I'm 18 years old. Sell Ryan's house. 
We have Ryan's house here. It is very beautiful, very big, gorgeous stone mansion. It has an indoor pool. It has a movie theater. Who doesn't want this house? Dream house. Who has a hundred thousand? Right here. Hundred fifty. Who's gonna beat that? Hundred fifty. Anyone? One, 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 one ten. One ten. One ten. We'll do one fifteen. Who's got one fifteen? One fifty. One fifty. We gotta make it bigger than that. Go big or go home. Who's got two hundred? Two hundred for this house. Beautiful. Hi, I'm Hannah Yagle, and I'm contestant number twelve. I'm from Oak Hill High School, and I'm currently fifteen years old, turning sixteen next month. Sell Ryan's house. Do I got a one? Two. I got. I got a two. Three. Got three. Four, four, I see four. I got four. Four, okay. Is that four? Four, 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 is that it? Seven dollars. Seven, I got seven, I got seven. Seven, 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 seven? Anyone got it? Nope. Seven dollars, that's it. Well, I hope everybody has enjoyed enjoyed the, uh, the segment. Uh, this is strictly just for a little entertainment. Uh, we want to wish everybody uh, good luck, and we appreciate them joining and participating in this event. Uh, I have figured out I almost had Ryan's house for less than a hundred thousand combined, and then people start bringing up the prices. Now I got to get a loan, but I could maybe bring some diapers and watch the baby for him, and I might get the house for under fifty bucks. But I want to say thanks to all the girls for helping me try to get their house. Hello everyone, my name is Jaden Webb and I am the 2019-2020 Jackson Apple Festival second attendant. Before the memories and the tears, I would like to thank all of the sponsors that have supported us during our reign. None of this would have been possible without you. I would also like to thank all of the Jaffe members for putting on the Apple Festival and making sure that we had an amazing week. It was truly unforgettable. I would next like to thank my parents for their unconditional love and support and for taking this journey with me. It means the world. I lastly want to thank my grandma for fixing each one of the beautiful dresses that I wore during this time. Two years ago when I was crowned, I was completely unaware of how drastically this experience would change my life. It gave me so much more than a title and a year of traveling. It gave me a second family. From winning the blizzard eating contest and riding rides to singing Baby by Justin Bieber in the car, the memories that we have made together are what truly make us a family. To our little queens, Jaden and Kennedy, you've both made my time on the court better because of your wit, your grace, and your beauty, all of which will carry you throughout life. Please continue to be yourselves and do not let the world Good evening. Thanks for coming to the 2021 uh, Queens Contest. My name is Brandon Davis. I'm your uh, 2021 Apple Festival president. Uh, there's a few things that we just wanted to clarify with the unusual year that we've had. For starters, this year will be the 80th festival uh, that we've had. Uh, last year would have been the 80th, but unfortunately we had to postpone it for a year. Uh, with that being said, the theme contest and Grand Marshal usually gets announced this evening. However, um, due to unforeseen circumstances, not knowing what's going to happen this year, uh, we have not announced or will not be announcing the Grand Marshal or the theme contest this evening. Here in just a minute, uh, Rob Leonard will explain how the theme contest will be working this year. Also, uh, if you continue to check the Jaffe Facebook page, um, website, anything like that, uh, the Telegram, uh, the Jackson or the Vinton Jackson Courier. Uh, we're going to have all kinds of updates. Also, another popular question that was asked to us this year is, uh, what about the Little Queens contest? Well, right now, with due to social distancing and that type of thing, there was just no way we could hold a Little Queens contest at the current time. We're hoping that regulations and stuff like that will be lifted and we can either do a Queen's contest inside uh, later on in the summer or possibly a Queen's contest outside later on in the summer. But again, we'll be putting that on the Facebook page. 
on uh, different media websites, just anything to make sure people's well informed about uh, when we will be holding those. So here's Rob to explain how we'll be doing the theme contest this year. Good evening. Um, the theme contest this year is for the 80th festival. The media will have the information as far as the address to email them to or to uh, mail in the, the entries. Uh, all entries will be narrowed down and a live vote will happen on the Jaffe Facebook page to, to pick the theme. Uh, the entries must be received by Friday, May the 14th. The live Facebook voting will then start on Monday, May 17th and will stop on Monday, May the 31st. Uh, the winner will receive a check for $100, so good luck to everybody and uh, please keep it to two sentences or less. Thanks. All righty, thank you guys, and they'll be announcing the winner shortly. Hello everyone, my name is Jaden Webb and I am the 2019-2020 Jackson Apple Festival second attendant. Before the memories and the tears, I would like to thank all of the sponsors that have supported us during our reign. None of this would have been possible without you. I would also like to thank all of the Jaffe members for putting on the Apple Festival and making sure that we had an amazing week. It was truly unforgettable. I would next like to thank my parents for their unconditional love and support and for taking this journey with me. It means the world. I lastly want to thank my grandma for fixing each one of the beautiful dresses that I wore during this time. Two years ago when I was crowned, I was completely unaware of how drastically this experience would change my life. It gave me so much more than a title and a year of traveling. It gave me a second family. From winning the blizzard eating contest and riding rides to singing Baby by Justin Bieber in the car, the memories that we have made together are what truly make us a family. To our little queens, Jaden and Kennedy, you've both made my time on the court better because of your wit, your grace, and your beauty, all of which will carry you throughout life. Please continue to be yourselves and do not let the world around you change your strength. I love you both very much. Brenna. Two years ago, we stood together on this stage, barely knowing each other, and embarked on a journey that would make you one of my closest friends. While the pandemic may have extended our reign, it sadly limited our time together this past year. However, in spite of the separation, I know that we will always be connected and our bond can never be broken. Your humor is second to none and your smile is contagious. I am forever grateful for the memories that we have made together and the many laughs that we have shared. I will cherish them always. Although we are soon parting our separate ways, I am beyond proud of the person you have become, and I can't wait to see all that you will accomplish. I love you. Maddie, you are the most beautiful queen inside and out. I am so grateful that we got to experience this together. It made this adventure that much more memorable. Before we were crowned, we had been best friends since kindergarten. However, throughout the last two years, we have grown even closer than I thought was possible. And for that, I am thankful. Over the last 13 years, I have witnessed your magic daily. Sadly, we are soon going to different schools and I will no longer see you every day. But I will forever treasure our friendship. The people that you meet at the University of Cincinnati are so lucky. I love you. Even if you crashed your car before the Fall Festival of Leaves and made me bawl my eyes out on our way to check on you. Ryan and Kristen, thank you for taking us in and making us feel so loved. You are truly special people and I couldn't be more grateful for the two of you. You always made sure to tell us that we were beautiful before each parade and that we truly enjoyed our time at each festival. Kristen, Thank you for always helping us to get into our dresses and making sure that we looked our best. Ryan, thank you for always making us laugh, for being there when we cried, and literally wiping the tears off of my face. Thank you both for always taking us to Toro Loco and other yummy places to eat after parades and all of the fun trips to Menards. You very quickly became a second mom and dad to us. 
so I know that Cambry is for sure the luckiest one month and six day old baby ever. I love you. To the 2021 court, you've got big shoes to fill. However, from the bottom of my heart, I wish you all the success, happiness, and love that we felt during our reign. Please do not take these upcoming moments for granted. They truly fly by and you will never want to let them go. And for the last time, my name is Jaden Webb and I am your 2019-2020 Jackson Apple Festival second attendant. This has been a crazy ride that I will never forget. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Bruna Boggs, and I am the 2019 Jackson Apple Festival first attendant. This journey has been nothing short of amazing, and I have enjoyed every minute of it. I would like to start this speech with my thank yous. To my parents, thank you for supporting me endlessly, not just in this journey, but in every aspect of life. Your advice and words of encouragement has never went unnoticed, and I am so glad to have had you both as my cheerleaders during my reign. To other family members and friends, it has been more than helpful to have a supportive group of people encouraging me as I take on this journey, as well as other life endeavors. I thank you all from the bottom of my heart. To my little queens, Kennedy and Jaden, you are both a ray of sunshine and I'm so glad I got the chance to meet you. Kennedy, I am sorry I dyed my hair and we aren't twinsies anymore, but I hope you still love me the same. Keep your heads high always and you can do anything you put your mind to. To my queens, Nothing would have been the same if I had went on this journey with anyone else. I am more than happy about how close we've gotten and I will never forget our memories. Singing in the car, arguing over who is the favorite, deciding we should rotate positions every parade, eating until our dresses barely fit, and making Kristen and Ryan take us to eat are things I will never forget. Jaden, do you remember falling asleep outside of Cheddar's? If not, I have a video of it. Maddie, I can't forget us hunting you down because you were late. You had actually wrecked, but your biggest concerns were that you ripped your dress and that you wanted to get to the Fall Festival of Leaves. I love you both endlessly and will be thankful for our friendship and memories for all my days. By the way, I am the favorite. Kristen and Ryan, I am so thankful for your endless love, support, and encouragement in every aspect of life. I have seen your hardest of struggles and I can easily say you are the strongest people I know. Even when going through the hardest times, you made sure we were taken care of. I love you both so much. To the Jaffe members, thank you for taking care of us during Apple Festival week. You made sure we had everything we needed and we had fun the whole time. To my successor, take in every moment of this journey. This will be a busy year, but it will be so much more fun than you could ever imagine. Make memories, have fun, and make as many friends as you can. My final excerpt is to someone who won't hear this or remember it, Cambry Ryan. From the day you were brought into your parents' lives, you have brought them so much joy. You are the luckiest little babe in the world, and I can't wait to help your parents spoil you in the years to come. The Apple Girls are so happy to have a baby sister, and we love you so much. Although my reign has come to an end, the memories I have made never will. I am glad I got to soak up a little extra time as a queen thanks to COVID. I can't thank everyone enough for the last two years. For the last time, my name is Brenna Boggs and I'm the 2019 Jackson Apple Festival first attendant. Hello everyone, my name is Madison Strauser and I am the 2019 and 2020 Jackson Apple Festival queen. Shout out to COVID for that one. With the honor and title of being queen, I have been presented numerous opportunities to gain new relationships, memories, and even a little sister. Two years ago, as I was a ball of nerves on the stage, I was asked to provide my definition of success. My response was, achieving your goals by helping others and your community. Today, I can proudly say that I have achieved my goals of representing Jackson County to my fullest potential and never hesitating to volunteer my time for those in need or who want to make an impact for our Apple City. In 2010, I tried out for Little Miss Apple Festival. However, my response for why I wanted to be crowned was because it was sparkly. That didn't exactly place me in the top 10. If I could tell my little self of all the joys, thrills, and opportunities that I have had as the queen, I can assure you my response 
would have been to wear the crown to remind myself each and every day that my town has chosen me to represent them as I travel around various festivals and events while teaching others the value of community and tradition that our Apple Festival holds. The 79th anniversary of our Apple Festival was easily one of the best weeks in my life. I would like to personally thank all of the Jaffe members for their hard work setting up and planning, a perfect as execution, and packing up after they have been running on zero sleep. Mr. Bird for bringing me my own vanilla ice cream for the blizzarding contest, since I'm crazy and don't like chocolate. Chris for performing Baby Shark on stage at the lip sync. Andrea's prom and bridal for granting us the opportunity to dance with the top 10 in the window, and all of the food booths for keeping me very well fed, and most importantly, all of my family members. A lot of time and effort has gone into my reign. For my sister, aunts, uncles, and grandparents who cheered me on every single step of the way, to saving newspaper clippings for my scrapbook, to running to the Christmas parade because I gave them the wrong times, my two years as queen have been wonderful. Thank you. My personal bodyguards, aka Bryce and Owen. I think we all know you wanted to come to the parades for Brenna and Jaden, but I still appreciated every time I saw your smiles from the float. I love you endlessly. Mom and Lydell, I thank you for all of the parades you sat at and the heat for all of the pictures you captured of me. I love you both. Although my dad was hesitant about me trying out initially, he has been all for his newfound title of a pageant dad. And to Rachel, my pageant coach, hairstylist, and the only person who knew how to put my sandals on right. I truly could not have went on this journey without you. I love you two so much. To highlight some components of my reign, we have 19 parades, 1,230,014 bobby pins, three blingy ball gowns, and one totaled car. Yes, you heard me right. On my way to meet the Queenies, I got in a little bit of an accident. When I called them and told them to go to the parade without me, they snickered and said, we are over halfway to you now. This is just one example of how much love my Apple family has for each other. Kristen, I'm so thankful that you are even more OCD about planning and appearances than I am. Your amazing skills to fluff a dress or tame some flyaways and how loving and caring you are to me. Ryan, I really am glad that I've been able to give you the opportunity to laugh every time I call. Like when I couldn't start my car, probably because the battery is dead, or asking for a blizzard flavor that turned out not to exist. <laughs> the two of you showed me how important it is to love life no matter what obstacles you may encounter. I am beyond excited to be a part of the journey of raising Cambry, and don't thank all Miss Being there for when she gets crowned the 2037 Queen. To my littles, Kennedy and Jaden, I cannot wait to see the amazing young ladies you become. Please never change your love and excitement for the small things in life. Brenna, from double car wheels at Studio 2 to now, our friendship has never been anything but exciting. You are all the way around the perfect definition of a friend. You'll make me laugh until I cry, always match my energy, and never hesitate to answer when I need you most. I love you. And Jaden. As someone once said, what Maddie does, Jaden does, and what Jaden does, Maddie does. That couldn't be more accurate. We dreamed of being queens together since elementary school. This time together has built an unbreakable relationship that I never want to see fade. Thank you for being by my side in this crazy journey of life. I love you. And finally, to the 2021 queen, don't blink, parade season will start and before you know it, you'll be here giving your speech. I hope that you jump on every opportunity to talk to a little girl who's eyeing your crown. I cannot wait for you to experience the rush of emotions the grand finale parade brings, and I wish you the best reign ever. Congratulations. I am Madison Strausser, and I will forever be the 2019 and 2020 Jackson Apple Festival Queen. Thank you.
We are back, and we are ready. We are more than ready. Judges, thank you again so much for all your hard work. We appreciate you joining us and helping us out. All right. Are we ready? Yes, we're ready. We've been ready. So we're going to start with second attendant. The 2021 Jackson County Apple Festival second attendant, contestant number one, McKinley Morris. Takes a lot to be an attendant. <laughs> yeah. And now the 2021 Jackson Apple Festival first attendant, contestant number 11, Kirsten Clark. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2021 Jackson Apple Festival queen is contestant number two, Katie Brown. Katie and her attendants will see you at the Apple Festival, which will be the third full week of September. Thank you for joining us this year. Have a wonderful Easter. <laughs> 